Well, and, and um, Dominion, we should mention Dominion voting systems, you mentioned in the book, he thought that would be what, maybe a $50 million hit. It ended up being a $787.5 million hit. Do you think that he was instrumental in that decision? I mean, what happened, happened. You think his testimony might have been one of the yeah, factors I, that really well, pushed it so no, high? I mean, I I, no, I think the factor that pushed it, the ultimate factor that pushed it so high was was that they didn't settle it. They went on and on and on and on and on, and nobody could make the decision because there was only one decision maker, and that's Rupert, and he didn't make the decision. But yes, at the at, at the end on the courthouse steps, um, certainly a significant issue was Rupert Murdoch going on the witness stand, and he would have been the, scheduled to be the first witness. And it and it was in in everybody's um, everybody around him was um, uh, was sure of one thing: <laughs> it would have been an absolute disaster and a humiliation for um, for a ninety two year old. You know, let's let's remind people a bit. You know, of the importance and primacy of of Donald Trump, certainly in stoking or a lot of the success you know was he obviously wasn't the other factor fox was hugely successful when he was coming to office but um key figure of course in in the fall so far certainly a fox and then in its um primacy i suppose you know in the last several years what how do you think about him as a figure right now in terms because there are Don, other news outlets obviously that are doing very well you mean off Don, him. Don, Donald, Donald Trump, Trump is a figure. Well, well, Donald Trump becomes the president of the United States, um, s certainly in large part because of Fox News. Um, um, throughout his presidency, um, uh, Fox benefited hugely um, from its relationship to 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 Trump. I mean, he became the ratings winner. It became the Trump channel. Um, not, not, and not only that, um, the, um, so many Fox people became key parts of the, of the Trump White House. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Sean Hannity, what, you know, I say in the book that Sean Hannity really became, um, during certain periods, his effective chief of staff. Um, yeah. they spoke mul multiple times a day. Um, and, you know, in an uh, curious way, uh, Trump, um, uh, Hannity was the only person that Trump would would listen to because Hannity was on the air. The most important thing of thing for Trump, the most important credential, are you on television? Um, so, uh, so this was this was really a symbiotic relationship, and Murdoch, yeah, at the same time, Murdoch has always always detested Donald Trump. Even yeah. when when I I spent a year um, interviewing uh, Murdoch for the biography I, I wrote about him, and one of the things this this would come up, you know, not 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 infrequently because because Trump was always a character in the New York Post, but of of what a buffoon um, Murdoch considered him to be, and then when he became the president of the United States, I mean, it was for, Ru for Rupert Murdoch almost beyond, beyond imagination. And in its own way, a humiliation that he had now, he now had to pay court to Donald Trump in, in the White House. And January 6th kind of finished that, 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 that off for him. I mean, he was not going, I mean, he realized at that point that this was, um, for him, a kind of a legacy issue. And mm -hmm. after that, and especially then after the 2022 midterms, he decided, okay, enough is enough. And Ron DeSantis was a, an effective Trump killer who he would promote. Now, we see